So I like. You even baked? Yep. So our new town in ACNL accidentally destroyed a flower by digging it up. Oh my goodness, that is a mood. <laughs> hey, Maud, how are you doing this morning? Take some time to get used to it again. Yes. Yeah, I love the fireworks. They're they're one of my favorite events, just like in general, ever since even New Leaf. Uh, we need a new outfit because we were wearing this last time. Mm, what should we wear? Let's. Uh, I'd like embrace the kitty outfit because that's always really cute. Enjoying a cozy morning drawing in your journal? Sounds good. Oh, Rosie. You want me to wear pink. Okay. Let me see what I got. I have this, but that looks a little bit warm for this season. I could also... Is this pink or is this red? I think that's red. Um, I could also go the Evil Sisters. Or I could do a bob shirt. Everything pink. <laughs> Who are you hunting for? We're looking for uh, Adobe or Lobo for Roseview. Um, if you guys remember, during our last um, charity stream, I said the person who donated the most would be able to choose our... Um... I'm right, that shirt's not. Is it like a hot pink? Is it actually? Okay. I'll trust you guys, I don't know. I don't trust myself when it comes to color. Um, the person who donated the most would be able to choose which villager I hunted next for in Roseview. And uh, the person chose uh, Dobie or Lobo, so <laughs> we're the bopper too. And do. Did I pass by the hats already? I don't think I did. I don't think I have a pink bopper. Do I? I have stars. Did I not collect all of them last year? Or was there not something that was pink? Not quite an all cat town. I mean, it was their choice, not mine. <laughs> it was their choice. Uh, I thought it was a coral pink. I may draw once a decade, but I don't know colors. I I I don't know colors either. Oh, my little mermaid thing. Um, Rosie, do you want me to just go with the evil sisters? There are children screaming outside. The strawberry hat. Okay. Strawberry hat, okay. Oh my god, the kids. There's like a little playground just opposite where I am. And they'll like go out and the parents just like let their kids just like run wild, I guess. I don't know. Small children running and screaming. <laughs> Throw water balloons at them. Uh, from how high up I am, I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> you can go the Able Sisters too. Yeah, I'll, I'll go just make sure, see what we got in here. If anything stands out, maybe. See, the thing is, I don't buy a lot of pink. <laughs> Scream back at them. You know what, for now? And then I'll go, I'll go to the Evil Sisters. Sometimes come over. And the screaming's a little bit much. There we go. Okay, I look absolutely ridiculous, but I'm also here for it. So, I haven't worked on town at all. <laughs> Since the last time I streamed, I was just... I've been busy. It's been a bit of a chaotic couple weeks for me, so. Hey, Kim, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. I hope your day's going well. Okay, Rosie. Be hella funny. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how high up you guys think I am, but I'm just saying it could probably kill someone, I think, at that height. Um, if not, seriously injure or maim it. <laughs> uh, Rosie, let me know if any of this seems interesting. You want a pink bow? Uh, child next door. If they cry, it sounds like a cat fighting each other, but no, it's just a child crying extremely dramatically. Pink bow. Pink bow. Okay. Or do you want the hat? Or the pink, this one, the kimono, this one, 
This one is pretty cute. <laughs> um, Learn that dropping a penny from high up can really cause a lot of damage. Yes, yep. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Okay, now shoes. Pink Mary James, is that too pink? Ooh, that's bright. How about these ones? Or these ones? Or there's a lighter pink. These ones, I'm gonna assume. Light pink, okay. I didn't even check if I had money. Uh, Alex, no, no. Used to have some pink jelly shoes as a kid. I don't think I ever had ones like those. <gasps> These are the ones that make the nice noise. I like running in these ones. This is a good choice. <laughs> this is a good choice, chat. Uh, but Rosie, thank you so much for choosing my outfit. I am now officially pink. But it's like a pink I can handle. It's like not too, too pink. I like it. Okay, I just realized I forgot to do something earlier this morning. <laughs> Gosh darn it me. That's okay. Also, I'll do a proper hydrate. That was an energy drink. I'll have water. Okay, so. Once again, you guys, if anyone is joining us and wasn't here last time, uh, my town used to be Stardew themed, which is why this path is here. It's why the houses are laid out the way they are. Um, but it's not going to be anymore. Long story short, <laughs> uh, we're doing an Animal Crossing GameCube theme, and it's a theme I've kind of threatened to do for a very long time, uh, but now that we started a new Animal Crossing town on the GameCube, I feel like it's the perfect time. Oh, I need pink hair too? Got you. Sorry, I can't read apparently today. <laughs> Aren't I gonna- Rosie, don't you have this hairstyle too? I always forget wh who has which hairstyle, but... Yes, okay. I'm just gonna look like Rosie today. I'm here for it. Alright, haven't been in here in a while. This is our slumber party room. Oh, no. Okay, uh... That's more of a purple, okay. Do I- should I change the- are there pink eyes? Or no? Animal Crossing Inception. Ooh. What do we think? Is that like- it's a little bit too pink, isn't it? It's a little bit scary. I really, like, again, something I'd love to see is, um... Uh... A color slider. I know it would be a lot more probably for the game to like always have everyone's unique colors, but yellow eyes become rosy shadow. <laughs> oh, I'm so pink. Um But yeah, no having a color slider and having like more unique colors would be really nice. Just saying Nintendo, you could <laughs> You make a lot of people very happy just by doing that, but... More hairstyle options, including being able to choose what kind of bangs you have too. Yes, I know a lot of people kind of resort to designs for bangs. Or like... What, face markings? I can't remember actually what they're called in-game. But yeah, it would be absolutely amazing to see. There we go. Yeah, Anne had really good bangs. I remember those. Um, so much so, unless I was like right up close, I always forgot that that's, they weren't actually in the game. Ever want to go back to ACNL? Uh, not for a very long time. The amount of burnout is very real. <laughs> I went back not that long ago um, off stream for a reason that I won't say, but it was, it was secret reasons. And... Um, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll give this a little try, see if I'm ready. I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready. 
But in the future, I do. Like, I'll never say, like, I'm officially done with an Animal Crossing game, I think. I finished New Leaf, but I will always have that urge to go back eventually. Long hairstyle I use now with different bangs, because I didn't have the straight across fringe. Yeah. Those shoes on the stone. That's kind of why I'm actually getting rid of the path. <laughs> Ooh. It's a big butterfly. What is NL? New Leaf. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Not up on the Animal Crossing games. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. You got it. But yeah. We'll get rid of this slowly. And enjoy the clip clop sounds for a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, last time you guys, we worked a bit on a train station. And it was coming out really well, but then I realized I made it on like the wrong layer. I could make it on a different layer and it would still look pretty good, so. Currently rewatching them. I hope you're enjoying. When people say that like they're rewatching like Memory or uh, Rose Wolf even worse, actually. Um, I'm always just like, cop, what was I doing back then? <laughs> what was I doing that I could embarrass myself with? Um, because I feel like, you know, my content and my style and everything has changed over the years, so... It's a little bit weird to think back on those times. Oh my goodness. Random. <laughs> Say, I'm free in two days, yes! I like just the head shake. <laughs> I wonder, could I have a slideshow? No. I, I took a whole bunch, I took like 28, I think, reference photos this morning of our Animal Crossing GameCube save so that we have the reference for this town. Um, and I was thinking about putting them on a slideshow so you guys could see, but it'll block something on screen, so. We make a head shaking emote. Uh, if I can figure out how to animate, or someone who does emotes can figure out how to animate, then yes. <laughs> and if I save up the money to pay someone to do such things, yes. <laughs> Rosie's like, I got you. Um, <clears throat> commissions are open. I'm, I'm saving months at the moment, but I will. I will ask at some point because I really do want to get some more animated emotes, especially an Ollie Chaos one because I feel like we need that in our lives. Um, so you guys, for the captions below me, I guess they're on my window, is it moving too fast? Is it, um, distracting? Is it alright? I really want to include captions on the streams and I love how these ones look. Um, but I would prefer to have the ability to turn them off if people didn't want them, of course. Game's on the Switch though right now, caught my eye because I need to save Muns, yep. <laughs> In time and hugs. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no exposure. I don't, I don't want to be that person. <laughs> It's a little fast, but it follows your voice well. Okay. Um, I think the thing is, obviously during the podcast I had it set up similar. It's not too distracting, that's good. Um, but my window on the podcast is obviously bigger, whereas in this one I have a very small, like, narrow window, so... But like, I didn't want it going over the gameplay and... Yeah. We'll, we'll continue, like, just like, you know, science again. We'll get it eventually. to trade art for another trade like editing or something um i guess that would depend on the people go i feel kind of sad getting rid of this because this path was just really really nicely done and it worked out so well for what we were doing hey random gamer how's it going uh weeb gabriel hello welcome on in
It's a lot to focus on that in chat, yeah. Seeing things like that always distract you, yeah. The circle hairs at the bottom and put the caption uh, right above those. I could move it down a bit, yeah. I could do that. Uh, that's an idea. Great for other art trade, but I've never done that. Don't trust random people on the internet. Except for random, we trust him. Oh, you got Kiki. She's cute. <laughs> she runs a delivery service. <laughs> I just read that too, Red. That's so funny. So I think the thing I forgot to do earlier is I wanted to take a screenshot of our Animal Crossing GameCube map as well. I take a screenshot of like all the important like landmarks like the train station, um, post office, Nook's Cranny, um, the edges of town, lighthouse, museum, stuff like that. Um, but I forgot to take a picture of the map <laughs> to help me plot it all out. But that's okay, we can just work on like the top half of town because that's all in a row and it's really easy. Good YouTube is sending you a crappy map screenshot. Ooh, I'd appreciate it. I'm not too fussed about where the villager houses are, it's just like the river that I'm kind of interested in. Pub <laughs> Post office public works project, listen, all right? I'm just saying, Nintendo, if you're listening, which you're not, because why would you be? Um, I once said by accident, post office public works project for New Leaf, and people made fun of me. And I'm just saying, you could make it a reality in New Horizons. There is no post office properly. You could make it a thing. I could finally redeem myself. People could stop laughing at me. <laughs> Which one is GameCube? Uh, Animal Crossing, I guess it was called Population Growing. Yeah, turnips. <laughs> Have you played Pokemon yet? If so, what do you think of it? I haven't yet. I keep saying I'll download it, but like, I've just been in such a weird moment of Final Fantasy XII, and I don't want to like play anything else really. I don't know. It feels good though. It feels good to get really hooked into a game again. I don't know about you guys, but I'll go through phases of like, you know, I'll play different games, but nothing is really like hooking me. And then I'll find one and I just, I, will, I want to do nothing else but play that game for like weeks on end. This is true, Pepper. This is true. Unfortunately. <laughs> Looks like she has a cold. Yeah, with like her little like snotty nose. I know some people really don't like it. <laughs> Okay, nearly done, thank goodness. How to keep traps in a place without rotting. Um, the only reason they rot is because of time traveling, um, as far as I know. Um, or if you wait longer than a week to sell them. So if you buy them on Sunday, you have to sell them by Saturday afternoon the following week. <clears throat> or else they rot. Um, Oh, thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, and then uh, the only other reason is if you time travel, I think a certain way they will uh, rot, unfortunately. I could play new games, but then how could I waste all my time in Minecraft? <laughs> the kiddo from Wind Waker. Yeah, I know exactly who you mean. Go. And if anyone, yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, if anyone is curious, again, we've done a couple different themes, uh, maybe for anyone who's new, uh, in this town that we uh, call Lily Bell. Um, we've done the Stardew theme, which is the path that I'm kicking up right now. Uh, we've also done a Story of Seasons theme, based off uh, the Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. Um, so I guess this is our third theme. And then before that, I wasn't really doing themes. I was just kind of, you know, doing whatever. 
I'm gonna play ACNH for a few more minutes. Then I'll be at a different game, totally. Respect that. I'm traveled backwards, like if you buy them on Sunday 11 a.m. and go back to 10 a.m. late rot. Yeah, I always get confused which way around it is. <laughs> uh, mainly because I don't really... I don't really time travel. Um, but if anyone wants to see the themes we had uh, in this town, um, we do have uh, tours for all of them on uh, on YouTube. So I'm trying to make this town like the town of like a thousand faces. Although of course we won't actually <laughs> go through a thousand different themes. But you know, oh, is this one gonna be really finicky? I know that there's a certain way you can stand to get rid of it, but I hate it. There we go. Okay. It, they're just really weird about those corners for some reason. <laughs> oh no, Jesse Cat. <laughs> Poor random. Uh, oh, Walt is back here hanging out. Okay, good. It looks like we don't really have too many designs on the ground to worry about. A flaming axe. Oh my goodness. Who's Clay? Clay is this little hamster villager that Random really doesn't like. Okay, right. So this was the train station that we had been working on. And then I realized I needed to make it on the lower layer. <laughs> so uh, we're tearing down all this and re-putting it. Unfortunately, I was going to do it off stream, but your girl's lazy. So. How do you? There we go. What kind of personality? I... Is he lazy? I actually don't know. I know Mike had him. Uh, Mike played ACNH for a really short period of time. And um, he had Clay and he actually liked Clay a lot. <laughs> And I had to tell him, I'm like, okay, so that's Random's least favorite villager, and you had to choose that one. Clay has been Random's favorite villager this entire time. I mean, Random does talk about Clay a lot. Now, I'm not trying to start any conspiracies, but I'm just saying, you know? Uh, okay, I just have a whole bunch of stuff on me. Uh, and if anyone wants, by the way, I believe I updated it. If you do exclamation mark designs, I should have all the designs we're using listed. At least the ones we have so far. There's a rent free space and random said. <laughs> yeah, he's like a little brown hamster with like little markings on his face. I think he's the one who actually called Mike Tater Tot too, and like that's my ultimate nickname that I really want in this game is Tater Tot. I don't know what TVA means, but in Quebec it's a news channel. I think at least TVA for me is like the new thing from uh, the show Loki. I don't know what in that saying started, but I love it. That's another one that I'm just like, I have no idea why it's a thing, but like, you know, I'll go with it. Oh wait, Rosie, I just realized we have TVO here, which is I think like TV Ontario or Television Ontario or something. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't know what that ex like uh, stands for for you guys, but. All right, Haley, no worries, we'll see you soon. I always wonder what the A stood for. It doesn't come with most channel bundles. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. See, like, TVO for me was, uh, if you guys know the show, like, Arthur or Magic School Bus or, like, any of those cute kid ones. Um, like, that's the channel I would watch them on when I was a kid. Molly calls me Potato for obvious reasons, and I hope it spreads. I love that. I absolutely love it, Aiden. Okay, so this is really unfortunate that this kind of worked out this way, but good TFO was 
included in most of them, which is the French version. Oh, of TVL, I see. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Yeah, you guys know what you're talking about. <laughs> it, yeah, we, we had, um... Did we have PBS? I feel like we did, or they showed a lot of PBS shows on TVO, maybe? Um... I'm not sure, though. <laughs> it's It's been a while. Okay, we're gonna put on our little hard hat here. Um... This button. It's been a while. If you want a nickname to spread, get them to call you Butter. Oh, boy. I just- I read that out loud. I'm sorry, chat. I read that one out loud. French Ontario television. Oh, okay, there you go. Parents were afraid of TV. You didn't get to watch PBS at home. Oh, my parents kind of. The, the TV was a slight babysitter. <laughs> slight babysitter for when they were doing other stuff, so. Which maybe isn't the best thing, but you know. It worked. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't have a weird addiction to screens or anything. It's not like I stare at a screen for 90% of my day. Right? <laughs> We all, we all, you know, get outside a decent amount. Okay. I feel called out. <laughs> um, so now we're going to push this back a little bit. Thank you for the Eevee, by the way. Um, I don't know how much space I need, so maybe like this. Just enough space for like some trees to go up. P. Oh yes, I see, I see. Maybe screens would be your entire career one day. <laughs> I do wonder what my parents thought I would be. If they even had any idea. To a village relief. Not in this town. Um, in Roseview, Flurry left, so we're hunting later on today in my other town. Wait, as far as I know, give me a second, you're making me bad. We have our. Oh, why is there a space? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Can we just please appreciate also? Look at this. Like, he just. He sees all. <laughs> That little face. <laughs> we love Gaston. No one shifts the blame like Gaston. <laughs> oh, really, Rosie? No, I didn't. I thought it would stop you. That's good to know. They talk about a Karen surprise surprise stopping guys from leaving their car and the Karen's not so embarrassed over his mom. That's always really awkward when there's like someone else in the background being like, uh. Hey, Bagels, how are you doing? I hope you've been doing well. There we go. So pretty much, if you guys actually would like to see... Actually, you know what? I'll bring it up in a second. <laughs> Let me finish doing this and then we'll... We'll bring it up. Um, and then maybe like one more row here. every other because if you do it I'll show you actually over here uh, maybe not over there over here if you do it side by side and I do over here it like cuts off half of it instead of the full thing if that makes sense and it just it takes more hits pretty much this is me being lazy I really wish and I stand by what I said last time that they would introduce 
maybe some sort of machine or something so you could take out like multiple blocks at once. I can see why they don't want to, but yeah, I learned the hard way. It goes faster this way. <laughs> Watch the game for the second time ever. I still haven't watched it again. I can't. Like, I just, I emotionally cannot handle it. Game mechanics, yep. <laughs> hey, Krill, how are you doing this morning? Welcome on in. Wasn't emotionally ready. GG player, hello, how's it going? woke up. So trying to like wake up fully, yeah. Kitties are doing good. Kitties are doing good. Ollie and Kiara are both out together right now, which is such a huge improvement over like the last couple months. Um, and like, you know, I'm not saying it's not without the occasional like standoff, occasional swatty match, occasional hiss. <laughs> also, bagels with that prime sub. Thank you so very much. That is a seven month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so very much, and thank you guys so much as well for putting all that love in chat. Okay, so. Um, I'll bring up our reference here so you guys can kind of see. Also, hydrate. You. <laughs> um, so, this is our reference. Uh, oh, there we go. So this is kind of what we're trying to do here is make the train station. And unfortunately there's only so much we can do because there's this overarching like overhang thing and I can't make that. <laughs> I mean, I could probably with designs, but that'd be a lot. So probably not going to. Um, if only there was an archway you could walk under that had like a clock on it. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so pretty much we're gonna have a space and then we're gonna have the train tracks. Um, so it's right up against the cliff, kind of. I could probably use the stone arch. I could. Um, I've also noticed that some people have a different train station, <laughs> which is interesting. I never noticed that there was different train stations. Um, like in terms of that overhang area. So what we're gonna do... I haven't deleted all the stardew pals. <laughs> uh, is we're gonna start putting down the train stuff. Floating blocks. That is also another idea. I haven't actually used the floating blocks yet, but I've seen a lot of people who've made really creative stuff. Yeah, that's what that's what they mean by the floating blocks. Yeah. I haven't used them yet, but I've heard some really good things, so. Girl, thank you! Rosie, uh, Rosie picked out my outfit today. A pepper, just seeing that in chat makes me emotional. <laughs> Not ready for that. <laughs> There's like a couple movies that I, I won't see because either an actor has passed away and I get emotional over that, or um, the movie itself hit me so hard in the feels that, like, I don't- I'm not ready for it again. Yeah. <laughs> I understand completely. There we go. And again, you guys, exclamation mark designs if you'd like to see the designs that we're using. I did not make any of the designs in this town at the moment. Um, I'm not that creative, but people online are, and full credit to each and every person who made the designs we'll be using. The K-pop group making their own Animal Crossing Island. I don't know much about them, but their name is Black Pink, and I think they make their own ACNH Island for their anniversary, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's neat! No, I, I know very little about K-pop, to be honest. Um, like, I know of it, and that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> Um, but that's really neat. I remember when this game first came out, there was like a Wendy's Island, I think. Like there was like company branded islands. Sorry for the new Marvel What If series. Yes, I'm very intrigued by that. Yes, I think. 
There we go. So there's our train track. And we're gonna pick this up because it's a little bit too soon here. Captain Britain looks awesome. Yes, I am beyond intrigued. I'm like, this is gonna be neat. But again, I feel like I need to go back and like do a proper Marvel marathon. It's just, I think because of Endgame, I've been putting it off because like I get emotional again. <laughs> Um, but that's just me. Okay, and then we have the train area. Um, and I was trying to make this, like, give or take in the- Oh, wrong button. That's not the map button in this game. Um, in the center of the island. So, give or take, I'm about centered. Uh... So we're just gonna put this here. Other Marvel series. So I watched uh, WandaVision and I watched Loki. I started episode one of Captain Falcon and, or Captain Falcon. <laughs> um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, and I didn't really enjoy it. I think I need to go back and give it another chance. I just was not all about it for some reason. Uh, even Mike, we, we're both super- I keep pressing that for map, I'm so sorry. They are really well made, right? Um... I keep saying I should go back and then I don't. <laughs> I've heard that it gets better, I know, I know, I really should. So, the only issue with this is we don't have, like... a set, um, like, um, rail or, um, fence that matches the GameCube version, unfortunately. doing a little stairway. We each other to watch it together that way, which I think helped as I'm a terrible series and I don't finish or start them. Yeah, Mike and I kind of, uh, we waited until uh, all of WandaVision was out to watch it, I think. Um, but Loki we watched week by week, but I think having someone there to watch with was really nice. There we go. So there is our train area. Uh, we were using the iron fencing as a replacement here. It's not the best, but it could be a lot worse. Also, I feel like I've made this too small. month resub oh my goodness thank you so much for that year of support i really do appreciate it thank you thank you thank you thank you my goodness and thank you guys so much for having that love in chat also wait for it we hit the sub goal thank you thank you guys thank you so very much i'm still working on getting proper music and lighting for this but i have the confetti at least <laughs> Um, so yay, thank you guys so very much. Thank you all so very much for putting that hype in chat. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna find some good music. I need to find something good. I've been meaning to find some new intro music as well. Um, and maybe even BRB, dare I say, like changing things up a bit, but... Ooh, we got a rainbow cam going on too. You don't... <laughs> I don't have them with me. They're like all the way behind me. I'm not getting up. Music and DMC. I have a um a subscription to a royalty-free music service actually. Um so that I don't have to worry about it, basically. GB Stars, hello, how's it going? Good Sonic Victory music. But thank you guys so very much for letting us hit that sub goal for today. Okay, so this is 
this area done. Do you guys think I should make it a bit bigger? Or do you think this is a decent size? Because the reason why I'm asking is if we go on to a different picture here. Yes, essentially, yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't really have a good picture of this, but um, I think a little bit bigger. I want to put down the cardboard box and the campsite sign. That's exactly, yes, Note, you're one step ahead of me. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, me an hour ago, very motivated to work on my own build. Me now, what about Stardew though? <laughs> um, I could probably make it like one space over this way, I think. I think that'll be a bit better. That looks so good, I really hope so. I have high hopes. Um, also, do you guys think I should, mm, should I make it like a bit wider as well? Or do you think this is like a decent like depth to it? It's essentially two squares big, unless you're by the stairs. It's a narrow platform. One more tile wider as well. So many things you want to play, but so little time left. Isn't that the way? And then like midsummer, you're just like, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> okay. So. So my games we keep going back to your comfort games. Absolutely. That is definitely a mood. In the last row of the train tracks, you have three of the same design in a row. I don't think that was intentional. Oh. How did I mess this up? So, this one is meant to be up. You're right, thank you. I must have put one down twice. Uh... There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Your kids talk about school already. Are we all going back to reality? It looks like it. It looks like it. Uh, which here, I know kids don't usually go back until after Labor Day. Um, so it's usually like a Tuesday when we all go back, I'm pretty sure. All chance to start sooner than grade school anyway. Here, it really depended. Sometimes we would actually start a bit later. Um, we always ended earlier though. We always ended in April. Late April, but still. Oh, my 20th high school reunion back during COVID. See, I don't even, I don't think I'd actually even go if we did have a reunion like that, personally, but I'm also a shy bean, so <laughs> the idea of going to something like that sounds horrifying. the kids I work with, they started school this past Wednesday. Oh my goodness, see, the idea of starting really early in August is so strange to me. There we go. I really like this, like, death perception here. Um, this just looks really neat. I, uh, I don't even, I don't remember whose town it was, but very late into our New Leaf series of Visiting Dream Towns. Um, I visited one and it gave me like very Metroid vibes, I think. It may have even been actually Metroid. Um, but the way they did the death perception was so good that it honestly, like it felt like you were gonna fall off into a void. It was crazy. Um, I don't know what episode it was anymore. I just remember being absolutely shocked at how well it was done. Like there are certain towns from Dream Towns that actually stuck with me. Go. Nice size train. 
summer 2020 for me again, not knowing what school is gonna look like in the fall. Exactly, it's like a year has gone by and things have changed, but like, you know, maybe not as much as we would like. <laughs> Your last fan. <laughs> I mean, that that's iconic now, though. <laughs> Alright, so... Unfortunately, they don't make a really itty-bitty tiny cardboard box. Um, so we're gonna have to use a bigger one for KK's box thing that he'll sit on, but... That's okay. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what, uh, what Pepper and I are on about, um, in it was last year, I guess. I guess it had to have been last year. Uh, doing Dreamtown visits, I finally visited Pepper's town, and she had a horror theme going on at the time. And in um, wait, that was your town, right, Pepper? I'm not going crazy. That was your town. I'm pretty sure it was Pepper's town. Because I remember visiting, and I remember, like, a lot of stuff. Um, listen, I almost said it, but I didn't. <laughs> I corrected myself. Um, and uh, Pepperstown was gorgeous, by the way, so if you want to go back and check out that episode. Um, we, uh, we got up to a bedroom, and there was, I think, there was a pile of throw up on the floor. And there was blood smeared around the room, and I, I'm trying to like keep things like moderately family friendly, so I'm like making up this like huge elaborate story as to why these things are here, and like the very end of it, I just like I zoomed in on this fan, and I'm like, at least I still have one fan, and like, I think chat died, I think people left, I think people unsubbed because of that, like no, um, Rosie we'll Pepper. <laughs> Ro Rose Roxy. <laughs> um, okay, so this looks decent-ish so far. So what we're gonna do now? Start working on this business. Do you have any of the standard items? I have some that were gifted to me. Um, oh, a present. Um, I still haven't opened the cards that Pepper, you kind of just, like, gave me. <laughs> I have them behind me, I just haven't opened them. Oh, right, I don't have a... Oh, yeah, I do have a slingshot. Oh. Oh. Got it, first try. Not open yours either. <laughs> I just, I just left them. They're, they're still... They're behind me, though. I know exactly where they are. Evil Sisters in the GameCube by the ocean? Yes, yeah. It will always be somewhere along that bottom acre, I'm pretty sure. It's like things are, like, set in stone where, where they are, but... to be too big here. It doesn't need to be like a big like production or anything. I still can't believe how crazy it was like getting getting your hands on those amiibo cards though. Like I don't know what Nintendo's thinking by not re-releasing them and selling a whole bunch because like they make a lot. <laughs> Switch you all to my 50 inch TV, gonna make some lunch and fold my laundry. Rosie, you got this girl. Get it done. There we go. Something like it's not quite center, it's not quite even. Clearly, they hate money. <laughs> Clearly. Oh god, where are you going? Get it dumped. <laughs> Literally prepared to buy them, but Target was a big dumb. Yeah, that was really poorly handled. It's like they don't realize quite how popular these things are, almost. <laughs> Pepper. 
love the closed captions. They're like, I like, um, for example, <laughs> uh, I like it when they mess up at the same time. It's, you know, you want them to be somewhat accurate at least. I'm here in the Netherlands, there's a shortage. Just bought them from Etsy and about to wait five billion years to get them. There we go. Um, and the other thing we can do here, uh, we'll bring up another inspiration photo so you guys can kind of get a gist, is on either side of the, um, What's going on, Red and Rosie? I'm so confused. Um, on the other side of the um, train station, on either side, actually, there are wooden um, fences. So, oh, clearly, Red has sneak 100. <laughs> Red bought a ton of stuff from my online store. Oh, Red. He has some really good stuff, so I hope you enjoy it. There we go. Unfortunately, the fences aren't exact, and that's the thing I think we're gonna find with this uh, theme. Also, Henry Rachel, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Brandon. Brandon, enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. As we're doing this theme is, you know, we're gonna find stuff that's kind of similar, but not exact. But that's kind of the fun of it, right? Log fence, let be the right color. Ooh, I do have a lot of the log fence. Let's go see and you guys can tell me what you like better. Oh, that running sound in these shoes is my favorite thing. Also, I put away, like, I'm not gonna have that out for the entire time, just to show you guys what I'm doing, maybe. You're not allowed to spend money on me. Random, someone go get it. <laughs> go get it, post it for me, please. <laughs> it would be at least similar, yeah. It's, um, I think the shape on top might be a bit closer, too. I hadn't thought about using that one for some reason. And I do have a lot of country fence, because it is my favorite. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we'll take this one. There you go. Thank you, Red. <laughs> and random. <laughs> no, I'll delete. You can't. You can't with the other mods. <laughs> it's such a nice fence. It really is. <laughs> There's a little Junimo hiding back here. <laughs> there we go. Not anymore. That seems really dark that I just, like, kicked away a Junimo, but... Okay. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Okay. So. What are we thinking, chat, as compared to this fence which blocks this fence now do you guys think the country fence or barbed wire we will be using barbed wire actually for something random don't you worry um or do we want the like picket fence both do look nice i know that's why i'm leaving it up to you guys um feels like such an autumn day outside see it's so warm here it was feeling autumn a while ago country Never say anything that can be given into a chat. Chat abides. <laughs> it's a shame the square panel fence is quite tall. It would have been the perfect thing because it, if if it, you look at this one, it does cut off in that same way. I think yeah, we are gonna go country. <laughs> country, yep. I think we all have that soft spot for it. Do you guys have a favorite fence in the game, by the way? I know mine is country, but I also like the hedges, of course. Do you guys have a favorite fence? Random, I already know your answer. Pretty sure. Red, that always makes me think of, um... Whisper the Heart, and it makes me happy. <laughs> it's the 
this movie. Barbed wire. Oh, the Halloween. I always forget about the Halloween fence. It is such a nice fence, though. The lattice one, yeah. Nintendo would not want swords. In this cute game. <laughs> this cute of a game. That film is so good. It's just, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm all about the slice of life, so, like, it really gets me. All right, there we go. So there is our train station area, which I'm really happy with. We can also plant trees up here, which is super exciting. Oh, Rosie, I am so sorry <laughs> ahead of time. Hedges and country. See, I would just choose, just choose both. It's all good. No shame. Um, I don't think there are actual trees, um, on top of the cliff in Animal Crossing GameCube, but I also don't think you could see them, even if they were there. So I think what I'm gonna say is if you guys remember in New Leaf, all right, we're gonna have a little, little New Leaf throwback here. Um, at the top of the cliffs, there were, if I remember correctly, some trees and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna put some trees up here just for that reason. Yeah, stone arches would look good. If there was like some sort of brick arch, because I can actually show you. Oh, freaky spirit. Thank you so much for the 17 month resub. Hello, sorry for not really being in here. I've been watching Animal Crossing videos, streams on YouTube. I appreciate where and whenever you can watch, honestly. Thank you. I hope you've been well though. <laughs> Thank you so much for that resub as well. Yeah, the Mario floating blocks might be a bit bare. I'll show you guys what the tunnels look like. So you guys have some sort of idea. Uh, give me a second, I saved them somewhere. So this is what the tunnels actually look like. They're very... There you go. They're very like just... They're essentially the same brick as the pathway that we've just put down. Um, and that's kind of... Also, this area is another one that I'm not sure how I want to do it. Because there's a river. And the train tracks go over the river, so we'll we'll figure that out. We might just end up putting... It does look like a pizza oven, though. That could work. <laughs> um, although we already used the pizza oven, I think, for the train, so... Um, we'll have to figure that out when we get there. Like a land bridge, yeah. Simple panels with the design and some cliffs. That could work. And cover the land bridge with the tracks, yep. Uh, I eat this one. Oh, I have so many shovels on me. Just another pizza oven. I like this. Another. <laughs> uh, I want to steal this one. I don't know where we're going to move the campsite to yet, but I know I'm going to have to move it soon. So. Wrong lever croc. I mean, that that still works too. I'm here for that. Okay. Oh, no, not that close. Now you want pizza? Pizza's always pretty good. Okay, I don't have that many trees on me. I don't think I've ever seen Emperor's New Groove in like its entirety before. Have I? I don't remember. Can't believe this. <laughs> okay. Um, so I can't really do a heck of a lot about the side where the um, the thingamajig is. And by thingamajig, I mean the, um, the campsite. So we'll work on this side over here, I guess. It's rough when you got a preteen and then two under five. Yes, yes, that, like, age difference of, like, not wanting to see the kitty movies, I'm guessing. Oh, whoopsie, wrong one. <laughs> face and that noise that your character makes when they like 
take a weird step with their like or a weird dig with their shovel is exactly what I feel like whenever I like take an extra step down the stairs and I feel like I'm gonna fall if you guys know what I'm talking about like that <laughs> that noise verbatim is like what goes through my little head I'm about to fall over Sometimes, honestly, pre-game is pretty good, but he can get frustrated, yeah. I like that Pokemon. I never have used it, but, like, after seeing it in, I think it was in Snap, I was like, that's really cool. Random? No. <laughs> no. Is it acceptable to get Pokemon stickers even if I don't play the game? I'd say as long as you can appreciate that Pokemon's cute, why the heck not? That's what I'd say. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> So we're gonna start getting rid of this section over here because we don't need it. The nice thing about Animal Crossing GameCube as well is the um, the cliffs and everything are like pretty straightforward. Um, in some areas, some areas it's not so much. At least this upper layer is really easy. He could choose cute sinus for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> the amount of conspiring going on in this chat. What? No, us? Never. <laughs> No, no, gosh darn it. There we go. So we're essentially gonna have the train track go all the way over, and then I'm gonna need chat's opinion on something else. I'll get rid of this also while I'm working. You guys don't need that right now. 100 C skill earlier, I worked on it. Did you hit the guy at the beginning during the tutorial? It won't hit you back. <laughs> Did you do what I usually do? Brandon. Eevee, Pikachu, and Meowth are awfully cute for no reason at all, and they know it too. Okay, so we're essentially gonna bring the train tracks all the way over. I can actually go pretty far without having to dig anymore, which is nice. Um, I also was like in the process of chopping trees, as bad as it is, but you know, we don't really need all of them right now. I broke my arm, so it's hard to type with my left hand. Oh no! I hope you're doing all right. I've never broken anything. I don't really know what it feels like, but I imagine it's not very nice, so. I hope that that heals quickly and you're doing all right. I want to say something, but I'm going to wait to say it until after I'm done shopping. No bees. <laughs> now I feel safe saying it. We didn't have any bees. <laughs> on it by accident don't mind me also guys update from like what two weeks ago now um did they ever bring back the late night nooks cranny music or no is that still not in the game did they fix it you have to self need more bees <laughs> I'm gonna 
add in some bushes in that top layer as well. Was it bugged? I don't know if it was bugged or not, but pretty much after the most recent update, people found out that uh, that last 10 minutes while Nook's Cranny is open, the music that would usually play during that was gone, which is unfortunate because it's a gorgeous soundtrack. And we were kind of debating last time if it was a mistake or if it's intentional, if maybe they're working on something so Nook's Cranny maybe stays open later. I don't think that's the case. But I just thought it was like an interesting idea. <laughs> um, so say for example if uh, they decide to reintroduce the Night Owl Ordinance, um, or if maybe they decided to add in another Nook's Cranny upgrade so it stays open later. I don't think that's the case, but you know, love me my tinfoil hat conspiracies. Holding on my laundry. I'm never procrastinating laundry ever, I swear. <laughs> Nearly right now, there's only bushes on the top of the cliffs, but that area on the top with the shops. Oh, they do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a while since I've like properly seen it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, call it our little new leaf uh, homage, maybe. Waiting for Brewster. I'm desperate for dailies that aren't just giving gifts to villagers and fossils. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little late. <laughs> oh, we're gonna break Rosie today, you guys. water my flowers anymore because I don't want them to spawn. Yep. That is, like, to be fair though, I actually do really appreciate the fact that I don't have to water every day and my flowers, like, you know, they don't wilt. Like, thinking back on all the stuff I had to do with New Leaf, I'm like, I have no desire to do all that again. <laughs> this game has kind of spoiled me in a way. See? Still burnt out on New Leaf? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Unfortunately. I tried going back to it for secret reasons that I can't share yet, but reasons uh, a couple weeks back. And uh, it, yeah. <laughs> oh. But I figure, I, ha I actually have no idea how long I played New Leaf for in total, like hours wise, because I played it across so many different 3DSs. One day I should go check. Um, but I figure the amount of hours I got out of New Leaf, like, you know, I'm- it's okay. <laughs> I got my money's worth well out of that game time and time again. Still love Mars Bars. I just had one for the first time in ages when I was younger. I used to have them a lot after school. Mars Bars are unfortunately one I'm not huge on, but I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Love a happy home design for the Switch. I know a lot of people would be really chill with that for sure. Hey, Shrunk Bunk. Finished the Rosewith Let's Play for the third time, and now I'm here to watch. Oh my goodness. I hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> Things have changed a lot since then. Nah, it's all good, Rosie. It's all good. I don't mind talking about it. Um, just because I don't want, you know, people or anyone to be like, oh, she hates New Leaf. And it's like, no, I, I love New Leaf. It's just... You know, I also enjoy playing new things. Froggy with a knife. <laughs> I think I've seen the one that you're talking about. I think I was trolling through her shop a while ago. I didn't make another mistake like I did last time, but I think... I think that's good. My watch memory again. See, at least memory's a little bit newer. A little bit more up-to-date, slightly, but even still. Uh... 
be cute, Brandon. A few purchases for myself in the past weeks, and I have no regrets. Do it. Treat yourself. Okay, we'll do it from this side. So this really does cut off, essentially, the top little bit of the island, but theoretically nothing will be up here anyway, so... I just realized I should have been doing something. I want the train tracks to appear on the map, but as they are now, they won't. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> re-put them all down and put some tiles underneath of them. An arrow necklace. Oh, that's cute. That's perfect for you. Okay, and we're gonna get this. I've been really tempted. This is such a random thing, I know, but talking about buying ourselves things. I've been really tempted to get myself, like, um, an armband that fits my phone in it. Um, because I want to go out for, like, my walks and have my phone so I can listen to music. But pockets on women's clothing is just not a thing, for the most part, <laughs> as we all know. Um, and it'd be cheaper than me buying a whole set of new shorts that have pockets on them, so... <laughs> I think I might end up doing that at some point. Uh, now what's, what's this nonsense here? Okay, this area might be a bit awkward. It's pockets. <laughs> I found this really nice set of like shorts online and they had like zippered pockets and stuff and I'm like, oh, but then I saw the shipping and the price and I'm like, oh, <laughs> never mind. Never mind that, so. I'm gonna look for one uh, that'll fit my phone, and uh, I won't have to worry about that anymore, at least. Decent sized pockets. Sizes to be the same. 14 in one shop is different than the next? Yes. Absolutely. There's money to be made on women's clothing and pockets. Yeah, but then the purse industry is gonna get all fussy. And it's funny because most of the women I know, we don't, like, a lot of us don't carry purses. A lot of us will go backpacks instead. Maybe that's just the group of people I hang out with, but... <laughs> no worries, Renta. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoops, nope. Okay, so this is kind of what we're doing. Such a person like five years only backpack. See, same here. Same here. I just, I really don't like having purses. I have this tote from Redbubble. <laughs> Thank you, Bentley. Coach handbags by use crossbody. Or wristlet most, yeah. If I'm gonna have any purse, it'll be like a crossbody sort of, sort of situation. It makes me happy to see people actually like using the stuff as well. Oh. Oh no, okay, it's just that corner, right? Fair enough. Which reminds me, if you guys have bought or are planning on getting any SPS merch and you feel comfortable, because not everyone is, but you feel comfortable, uh, and you want to send, uh, like, tweet me with a picture of uh, you using or in the merch or whatever feel free by the way low-key it just makes me happy to see people actually using it i'm wearing my single year bottle shirt is my pj top at the moment yes i showed mike that shirt and he's like all right so you can't wear that outside because people are gonna come up to you and be like <laughs> i don't know weird about it but i still wear it outside anyway never paid full price i'm sad though one of my favorite bags is a shoulder Lexi, but I never have reason to use such a nice bag. Got my blue Tingle Your Bottle sticker on my water bottle. See, that's a really good place for it. I 
to explain the joke to my mom. <laughs> my mom didn't even ask. She took one look at it and she's like, all right. <laughs> it's just you being silly again. So the next thing we're actually going to do... Oh, do I not? Oh, here it is. Uh, we're actually just going to put down a blank tile um, so that nothing spawns in these spaces. Oh my god, Freaky Spirit, the way you use those emotes, it looks like Bob's laughing and then Bev is coming out from behind him just like... <laughs> Creeping on in. Percent always has a backpack. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, usually my backpacks, like, we have, like, a full size backpack that we'll use if it's Mike and I going out, but, like, um, I also have, like, mini backpacks as well that I'll wear. For just like carrying like smaller things. I know this seems kind of tedious, but trust me, it'll be worth it when I look across and I don't see any fossils spawned over here. better um yeah i'm gonna need to <laughs> i'm gonna need to put tile underneath all these but i guess if i remember i can do that part off camera is that my google calendar color code for the upcoming semester and i'm very excited look at you go that emote is perfect for that too <laughs> color coordinating coordinating oh, coordinating there we go um things is always really fun. So let's bring this back out. Just take another look at this. Should we do a cozy stream tonight? We might be able to. We might be able to. Okay, so here's where this is gonna be a bit janky because I can't have one design underneath another. But that's okay. We're trying our best. it just goes semi straight down I think it actually does have a bit of a curve in it I didn't take a good picture of that though unfortunately <laughs> Cause that's quite a big curve. I guess we'll see. Ah, yeah, you know what? It'll work. It'll work. We don't want it to be exactly even or perfect. Cause it's Animal Crossing GameCube. That's the thing about it. It's very uh, imperfect. <laughs> Maybe. A little bit janky, it's a little bit weird. There we go. And it actually doesn't go down that far, so we're actually gonna be able to start putting our houses in this area, which we do have a picture of if you guys would like to see. Somewhere. There we go. So I am gonna be making three other players. I haven't exactly had a proper idea yet on names or themes for them. I might not even give them any like proper themes. It might just be the houses that we want. It's a giant that you've grown to love. You know it. Were you just about to ask that? Yeah. Um, we could make a fantasy house. Like that's going to be fun. Yeah, we don't have any gyroids, which is super unfortunate. Because that would have been absolutely perfect. Sentry, how are you doing today? Oops, there goes my axe. <laughs> um, and of course, the other big thing that we're gonna have to work around is the fact that 
um, buildings in GameCube were uh, not fully facing straight down. They were um, kind of diagonal. Um, and we, we can't do that in this game. <laughs> so we're going to be kind of working around that too. They had charm. <laughs> oh boy. Diagonal charm. <laughs> Playing in the dark today, cause I can. Heck yeah. There we go. I don't know exactly what it is about the GameCube though. Like the tiles. They almost they look maybe a bit more dark than these ones. It it it'll work still, but. Diagonal Povis, uh, Post Office Public Works Project. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to put down some bushes somewhere. fell in 14 a while back and I'm just now getting around to playing with her first on potato it's pretty amazing <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying it I uh, I think the only character I've actually gone with in 14 was the uh, cat ears I can't remember the name of the species I'm sorry some everyone in here probably knows <laughs> what I'm on about 14 is kind of a big deal that one thank you <laughs> Just cat girls. <laughs> yep. Go. Ooh, Rosie, you get yourself some water now. So this looks uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, not wild back here, but a little bit more decorated. Hey, Moonflower, how are you doing today? And I'll slowly bring some more trees up there too. I wouldn't be against, uh, sorry, I wouldn't be against having some flowers and stuff up there, but like also not too fussed about that either. Um, so I think we're gonna bring this down. Hey, Squirrel Songs, how are you doing today? I appreciate you coming in here and saying hello. We're gonna go down a bit further here. And I'm gonna need another campsite board, and I don't know if I have more than that one. <laughs> so I might need to... There were flowers in Animal Crossing GameCube. I don't remember if roses were one of them. We've kind of decided that we're going to be using um, all the different kinds of flowers rather than just limiting ourselves to the ones that were in GameCube. Um, just because I have so many. You at work, don't tell anyone. Oh my goodness. Hopefully your work day is going well. Girl songs. We'll see you later. Have a good day at work. Um, and preferably, I actually want um, cedar trees along that top section. Uh, trying to think if I had any more cedar trees. <laughs> I mean, there's one right there. I like how the train drives just suddenly cut off and then there's a desert. 
Um, like that's that's not what that's meant to be. Okay, so um, it falls off and goes into the desert, <laughs> and suddenly that's how you get into Stardew. Just like make it all connect back to each other. And continue shopping, getting rid of them. And again, I have so many different kinds of fruit in storage, you know, we can always replant them. I'm not too fussed about starting fresh in terms of trees. Being my first jab tomorrow, and I'm really nervous, but I was getting the Stardew Valley for having the confidence to do it. Yes, enjoy Stardew. And I really hope that it goes well. I was nervous about it too. I don't do well with needles, but. Um, have had it both doses now and like you know it went pretty well so I hope it goes well for you as well as well I, I'll just keep saying well shall I also low-key I know that Stardew's been released physically like I've seen people who have like the physical copy on switch and I already have it physically on ps4 and I'm like I shouldn't be tempted but I am sort of thing I have it digitally already but Ooh, the garden gnomes might work. That's an interesting idea. I'll take a look and see if like any of the colors might match up. Or I could make the different colored gnomes match the different colored houses. Yeah, metal, I know. Like Stardew, it's it's again, it's one of those games, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's one of those games that I will buy repeatedly because I just want to support it. <laughs> um and I know that I think Stardew on Switch has like a different box art than the PS4 version as well. Oh, is it on sale right now? That's awesome. Oh, wasn't that that bug I was looking for like hardcore last year? I seem to remember that and I had a lot of trouble with you. I've caught all the bugs though, so <laughs> we don't gotta worry about it anymore. So how much, sorry, I keep pressing uh, minus to look at my map. Um, that's what it is in Final Fantasy XII, so. Um, I think that's pretty decent spacing. I wanna make sure that we're not doing things, like we're not taking up too much room along the top because we do have a lot of stuff to put down towards the bottom here. And see, this is why I wish I had like pre-planned out how big everything was gonna be, but your girl's not here for that much planning. Spawned on some too, looking for it back in memory and Gaston scared. I remember that one too. I was very angry at him. <laughs> I finally got to spawn and then he came in and he's like, it would be a shame if someone scared this off. <laughs> away bugs like that all. <laughs> Such a silly rabbit. Like, he's great, though. Go. Didn't he also take a seat immediately at leave when you sat next to him? Uh, probably. <laughs> the villagers in this game like to do that. the villager next to something you could like merge with them yes i remember people used to trap villagers to get public works projects in new leaf uh my brother should growing town he lives next to pom pom every time i talk to her he goes running into us mid comp <laughs> he's like let me in too <laughs> oh i don't know if you told me that or not but i'm so jealous Big 
this loot cannon. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to leave a little bit of space here. God, I forgot how much I like New Horizons music. <laughs> Just listening to this again, I'm like, this is good. I miss this. I've been listening to like a lot of like Animal Crossing GameCube recently, which is top tier for me, don't get me wrong, but. Look at that bug. Oh man. Engine frustration with you by Muffy trapped next to the beach. And no public works projects. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think I was bothering Phoebe for. What was I going for? I don't even remember. There was something I, I didn't get in memory and I was really sad about it. I know I didn't get the Wisteria Trellis, I think it was in Rosewolf, I remember that much. But I can't remember what else there was. Only Uchi gives, but it's been too long for me to remember. I'm wondering if it, it wasn't a lighthouse I had one. I used to know what everyone gave, like, like off the top of my head, pretty much. And these days, I just don't remember. Okay, so this is where we're gonna put some of the houses. I don't know when we're gonna start the new characters. Um, maybe we can have, like, polls and, and raffles decide what we're gonna call them. From Phoebe, when she gave you a scarecrow, it was so disappointing. Yes, I remember that. I think, was it a street light of some sort? Because knowing me. God, remember how you used to get those? Jeez. <laughs> Imagine doing that in this game, like having to wait for that. Time. I'm sorry if that bothers anyone, by the way. Please let me know if you want me to like take it off <laughs> while I'm uh, just digging around and such. It's just to show you guys pretty much like what I'm planning. The cartridge just popped out. Oh no! I always have a slight heart attack. My my other switch, um, for whatever reason, sometimes when I pick it up. Uh, after not playing it for a while and I turn it on, it'll like not register that there's a cartridge in there. And it was doing that to New, or New Horizons earlier and I was just like, please don't like, just don't say like the cartridge died or like the switch is dying. It may have been like a picnic blanket. It may have been. I didn't even notice, okay. <laughs> as long as it's not like bothering. Last night my truck has started drifting, but I've only noticed it with AC and A. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, who's whose Bobby mode is that? Who's whose is this? Nook is on. <laughs> I love that Bob and also There's someone whose channel name is just Ouija? Oh, I need to go. I need like I need to check out so many people's channels right now. Yeah, shrug. Okay. Um. Oh. I want to leave that. <laughs> that should be a decent enough amount of space, I think, to at least like get us started here so it like kind of does like a curve up oh no
I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Trellis or the windmill? <gasps> it was the windmill. I, 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 yes. Yeah, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> So of course, again, this can't be diagonal. It just doesn't work like that, unfortunately, but... Also, I feel like that might be a bit too wide, but I know the houses in this game are shaped a bit different, so... You know what? No, way too wide. <laughs> so I tried for a second time to steal one of the socks. <laughs> oh. time I tried to use the path. I was trying to use it on stream and it was just- it was so poorly done. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like, uh, I'm too dumb for this. But then once you get the hang of it, like, it made sense. So that might be a bit big, but I think for our purposes it works. And the other thing is, I didn't take a good picture of it, but I don't think the houses are even on all sides. Like, I don't think I can make an even branch here. So. Hey, Nova, how are you doing today? But yeah, this is where one house is gonna go. And we'll have the fencing around it. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope that fits. I'm a bit nervous about that. No, no, that's not right button. Um, I think I did take a better picture of the second house, though. Did I? There we go. I turned on scan lines in this one, by the way. I hadn't shown you guys that my uh, little capture box thing could do that, but it can. Scrap boxes have things to hold photos in. Very nice. I'm doing pretty good today. Having a nice, nice chill day. Um, and then it kind of like does like a little dip. Almost. Um... trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that, but I think it'll work. It's a little bit janky, I have to admit. It's gonna be a little bit janky. will do for again it's not gonna be exact I'm saying that more so for me than for you guys <laughs> just trying to remind myself to not get too frustrated to figure it out is this coming down too far though oops wrong button might be coming down way too far um 
Hmm. I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna leave that because I have a feeling we're like, overcompensating almost. Uh, but Rachel, you sent me... Where's my Discord? <laughs> town map of Lily Dirt. So I'm gonna save that. And I'll bring that up so you guys can kind of see. Oh. Well that doesn't fit, but you know what? It's fun. <laughs> song from Dora here in a minute. <laughs> so this is kind of our map layout, or our river layout, sorry. I, it is our map layout, but um, our river isn't going to work exactly, unfortunately, but we're going to kind of compensate. Not the best, but your girl tried it. It's okay. It's, it's actually really good uh, for what we're using it for, so. Um, at least the river is really straightforward and simple. It's not like, you know, too complicated. In fact, it's almost the exact opposite of what we currently have for our river. You guys actually, like, look at that, which is kind of funny. Okay. So who in here is planning on joining us? Yeah, I think it'll be pretty straightforward. Um... Who in here is planning on joining us for some bingo hunting? Bingo hunting? Villager hunting with some bingo. Later on today, you guys. If you guys haven't done villager bingo before, it's a lot of fun. Um, my hunts usually don't go on for that long, but this time I actually am searching for two set villagers, so watch as this one does. We do have the bingo thing. The resins for Roseview are already included. I did that this morning, or at least they should be. Uh, so you guys should be all good to go. For entrance, you could do a circle pond. And the river and build from there. That should be a pretty good spot. Yeah, I think it'll work too. Thank you. Also, Sean, thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I think what we'll do then, um, since we have the map now, is we'll um, we'll figure out the uh, the river layout maybe, and like the the land and the cliffs, and then we'll start filling in like the gaps <laughs> maybe, um, instead of trying to build like one section at a time and then realizing I'm running out of room, because um, we kind of ended up doing that in Stardew. <clears throat> Where, like, I was running out of room for stuff. Erk. <laughs> no worries, Mental. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your erk. <laughs> hey, bingo until I want, and I have a need for more chocolate bunnies. <laughs> I wish I had some chocolate bunnies to offer you guys, but unfortunately the winner only gets bragging rights. So, <clears throat> gonna have to figure out is the um, uh, what do you call it? Um, 
the sides of the town set up. So, uh, Animal Crossing GameCube was similar to... I guess New Leaf even did this, where, like, one side of the town at least has cliffs. In Animal Crossing GameCube, both sides have cliffs along the edges, uh, which act as the border. And I could do that here, but I'd also block off a whole bunch of beach doing that. Which isn't the end of the world, but... There are sections where it might look a bit wonky. Now you want chocolate? <laughs> What's your favorite kind of chocolate chat? Do you guys have a favorite brand, a favorite type? A favorite combination of chocolate with something else? I, uh, I used to love just normal milk chocolate, especially like Hershey's, but um, my teeth don't really handle it that well these days. <laughs> Rosie, enjoy your look. Dark chocolate, not a big milk chocolate fan, yeah. Milk chocolate as well. I tried to get into more dark chocolate because I know it's like healthier for you and whatever, but I couldn't. I just, I couldn't. <laughs> I tried so many different like percentages and stuff like that, but I just couldn't get into it. You just eat all chocolate. <laughs> Still tastes mad to me. I've been a fan of dark chocolate, it's good. I don't really like chocolate, but when I was. Ooh, Kinder Eggs, yes. Kinder chocolate is like top tier. Absolutely agree with that. <laughs> Molly's bullying Fred. What's Molly doing? Does Molly need to telling off? Is she trying to establish dominance? <laughs> White chocolate. Ooh, the peanut butter cup. So, okay, fun fact. Uh, Reese's made peanut butter chocolate bars. So it was like the same supposed taste as Reese's peanut butter cups. But because the ratio of chocolate to peanut butter was different, they were so good. <laughs> Missing improper one from- ooh. What was he doing? Was he just vibing? Or was he kinda like looking at her or doing something maybe? Nothing, he was chilling- oh yeah, she was going for him then. That's not so nice. He's gonna have to learn real quick that's not okay. Uh, Kinder Bueno, two years ago, at least where I am. Yes, that one's really good, too. It's the same sort of thing as the Reese peanut butter bars, though, I find. It's, like, a different ratio of chocolate, almost. Just goes over and hisses out. <laughs> Such foul language, my goodness. Kinder Advent calendars, yes! Until I took it to my room and ate every single egg, bar, Santa, everything. <laughs> I love that you're just like, yeah, I'm not gonna wait. Screw this. All of it is mine right now. Eight fossils left. Nice. I didn't do anything. Ollie has a really weird habit. He'll try to like instigate something with Kiara and he'll like, you know, be all tough and, and macho. And then she'll like give him a look or flatten her ears or maybe swat at him a bit. Close paws. She doesn't actually use her claws or anything. She doesn't want to fight him. And that usually makes him back down because he's a big coward at heart. And um, before he backs down, though, he always gives this almighty hiss. <laughs> As if just like say this swear word and then be like, I'm, this isn't over, or like, you know, something like that. He can be a real bully, unfortunately. Never got the golden shovel DIY. In this game, the golden shovel isn't actually from fossils. Which is annoying, in my opinion, but you know. But that could be the reason why. Proper hissy at him. Fred is a sweetheart, won't do anything, so that's good. If you have two cats that are willing to fight, not so great. But, you know, I just need to teach one that they can't be, <laughs> can't be so mean. Okay. 
So we're getting close to the edge here. This is where we're gonna have a little bit of a cliff situation. Cat that's somehow stronger than me. He's three years old. Terrified because he's also adorable and now holds all power. Some cats are just big and strong. That's just how they are. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. Ha! <laughs> Random! <laughs> I like that a bit too much. <laughs> Is it this one? Grandpa cat who would always walk away from my cat when she was a kitten and wanted to play. See, with Ollie, sometimes we think that he is actually trying to instigate play with Kiara. Um, but he's he's a big, strong, orange <laughs> cat. He just he's a big boy, and he might not realize how scary he can come across. Benjamin, what are you eating today? This is the brand. They have many flavors. Yes. Yes, that brand's pretty good. Turkey cheese sandwich and seasoned pretzels. That sounds honestly really good. Okay. All right. Um, so this area is looking pretty decent so far, I think. Mexicano boss. Yes, yes, I know the one. Um, okay, so we don't need those trees there. remember I th think it was Tiggs. I was watching Tiggs one morning or one day I guess it would have been not morning um closer to when New Horizons came out and I remember figuring that he had put palm trees on his mainland by putting um uh sand underneath where he was gonna plant them and I was just like oh that's such a cool idea so whenever I've done this since I always just I'm like I remember what stream I learned that in <laughs> follow her ever so often, not nearly as much as he used to. Currently she's in the window, he's on the other side of the blinds looking at her. See, he just, he seems fascinated by her. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> he has the colors for it. Has his palm tree decor, it's so ambient. It's really nice, yeah. I like the look of it a lot. So somewhere up around he here, maybe, we're going to have to have a river and it's going to look a little bit jank, but because of the map situation. Yeah, give or take somewhere around here. I miss landscape my town is finished and so now just log in for events. That's kind of why I'm doing the whole like town of a thousand faces sort of thing or a thousand themes because like I feel like a lot of my enjoyment of this game is making my town look nice. <laughs> Actually, I just realized, what do they do for... Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I just realized we can't actually see... Like, if there's a cliff back there or not. 
I'm guessing there is, but... Uh, Pepper, let me see this. Oh, he does look really creepy. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what a little creep. <laughs> Uh, it took away the closing music, also took away the ability for some DIYs to be shared between players? Wait, what? Tell me more about that. I have not heard anything about that. Like, you can't, like, give someone a DIY card? Or, like, some of them? like this. We ought to have fun, but only have we dictated. <laughs> Some DIY cards are now unflyable, so they cannot be taken from one person's island to another. I think, for example, the turkey day. Oh, so seasonal stuff. How is that gonna affect... So, like, say, for example, I went over to one of those, like, treasure islands, which I've never been to, but say, for example. Um... Could I still go over there and pick up and learn a card if they themselves got it on that island? Does that make sense? To be unflyable. The fishing fishing rod and stuff? Whoa, weird. They'll be deleted from your inventory if you fly them from one island to another? Nintendo, get your stuff together. My goodness, what on earth? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I have ever read today. <laughs> All right. I wonder why they do that. Digital ones and zero scares. <laughs> Oh, there's a bigger gap back there than I thought, but that's okay. Want you share DIYs with your friends? Also, Nintendo, no, not like that. <laughs> Ew, yikes. Like, I'm all for, like, you know, you know, getting it yourself and stuff, but, like, you know, you could argue for seasonal events. Some people don't have the time to be on, and then... I don't know. I don't know. I see both sides of this coin, but I don't necessarily agree with both sides. This is a deliberate thing by Nintendo, not a bug that might be targeting treasure islands. It might be. And somehow it wouldn't really surprise me all that much, sad to say. My friend game release in beta. Update so put it into alpha. <laughs> yeah, the ones that hack it, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of how this area is going to be looking. Um. I kind of want to fill that in because it, it looks a little bit weird back here. Um, unless I just make it a waterfall that goes over. But I don't know if that looks even weirder. Still. treasure island so people would collect all the various diys and such and um, make them available to people if they wanted them um, to come over and like visit in exchange for something usually to so be like a massive island just full of items or diys or tickets or something like that i've never really been to one myself i've only ever like heard of them Yeah, 
this section down here is a bit awkward. Okay. People being nice and share. Yeah, we can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nintendo. Usually hacked in order to get all the things, so it might be Nintendo's issue. Yeah, which you know, if it's hacked, I can I can understand a bit more. But exactly, it's not really hurting. Per se, yeah. All right, Mike Tron, we'll see you later. Uh, Cat Sweden, hello, how's it going? Oh, now to see this section right here is still a bit weird. Gosh darn it, I had so many ideas for this, but this area is gonna be a bit awkward. I was thinking of having like a little waterfall here. I'm doing good today, I'm doing good. I'm having a lot of fun trying to figure out how I'm doing this. <laughs> Perhaps the people who hack because isn't the whole point of giving duplicate DIY so you can share with your friends? Yeah, pretty much. Definitely not as long as it should be, but I think with a waterfall it'll kind of mask that a little bit maybe. That looks all right. I think we can manage. <laughs> um, and then the only thing we need to do still is pretty much it ends in a tunnel. And I think, thank you so much for the follow by the way, I think what we're gonna do for the tunnel is, like you guys were saying earlier, we're gonna use the designs, like the design boards. trees and flowers and rivers and hack everything around immediately but transporting DIYs to New Horizons. I think the difference maybe is New Horizons is a bit more online. One could argue. Um, so like they don't want people like... I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't even make much sense when I'm saying it, right? It, it, it's just a little bit weird. Am I supposed to have duplicates of? Like, you aren't supposed to have duplicate Turkey Day or Golden Tool DIYs at this point, so they're barring that. Maybe. Maybe. Like, the Iron Wall lamp, right? Like, you're, you get duplicates of that all the time. Flimsy tools, exactly, yeah, the flimsy tools are a little bit weird, like that, I don't really see much point in that, either. Oh, okay, that's where our thing was. Okay, I'm, I'm really happy with how this is, how this is turning out. We're gonna have to look at this area again, but like... At least for the train section on this side. 
It could be worse. It was on purpose for them to do the DIYs like that? I think it's a glitch that they haven't fixed. Yeah, at least the the tool ones, I agree. Like the, the seasonal ones, I could see a point, but the tools, yeah, no. From skipping the beginning, ooh. That's an idea. And the closing music, that one feels weird because it, it's it's hard to tell if that is a bug or not. Okay, so next up, all the weeds here. Uh, next goal here is for us to kind of fill in uh, this space, the desert space. Vacation, I was like, I need to ask chat about this. Yeah, no, I I wouldn't have heard about that. Thank you for mentioning it. It's it's cool to learn, at least, to see what's going on. Process running up fast, they removed it, and there was a subset for that music playing that no longer fires in the code. That's very possible too. I think the thing, the funny thing is though, with Nintendo, like they don't usually come out and say something like that, like, oh, whoops, we accidentally removed something, we'll put it back in. You know, I know a lot of other game companies that would, but Nintendo? Mm -mm. Some groups read this up right for Animal Crossing in between all the toxicity. That's, yeah, I tend to avoid it. <laughs> turned out for the train tracks. I think it looks good. It looked better once we can bring out the, uh, the river a bit, but... Nintendo say something about it is if the next update fixes it, they might make a patch note about it. Yep. And that's the thing, like, they kind of don't want to talk about if they've made a mistake like that. It's like, they'll look at it in Japanese, yeah, and then it needs to be translated, and then, yeah. <laughs> rock over here. Now the rock placement in GameCube is obviously set and I could be really extra and place them in the same spots but that sounds like far too much work to be honest. Um, this. MMO thing and other efficiency updates. Other. What do you mean other? <laughs> Yes, yep. Virgin Market 8 comes to mind. Never not an antenna, but most definitely was a glitch as they were moved into Lex. Yes, I remember when fire hopping was an issue. this translates into this area it's not the best at all but it's decent enough i feel like <laughs> hopefully um still rustles my jimmies <laughs> um the path actually or the river kind of does like a little turn there so 
sort that out eventually. I'm really happy with this so far. I wish I had like a proper notice board um, for both the one that's gonna be like down here and this one, but we don't. <laughs> so, um, but you guys, looking at that time though, I think what we're gonna do is we are about to go on our first stretch break of the stream. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get up, hopefully. We're gonna stretch. We are going to maybe grab some snacks, maybe grab some drinks, grab whatever you want, really. Um, I'm gonna take a screenshot because things are actually coming together a bit better. <laughs> um, oh, I just did something. I don't know what I did, but there we go. And when we come back, we're actually going to be over in my other town, which is called Roseview. It is currently a GameCube Let's Play I'm working on. Um, but we need to villager hunt, so that's all we're going to be doing in that town. I'm not even going to be chatting with our, my other villagers. We're just villager hunting. So we have a hundred tickets to villager hunt with, and um, hopefully we can find Dobie or Lobo. <laughs> so give me like 10-ish minutes, maybe a bit longer, because I need to... Um, uh, switch games <laughs> and uh, when we come back more Animal Crossing goodness but different town so um, 10 minutes I'll see you guys all really soon thank you so much for being here everyone have this problem